Hello, hello. So I got an invitation for a Facebook ad account. I hit got started and I put in my name and then you have to put in your Facebook username and password. Um, <clears throat> first thing you'll go to is this page. Once you've done that, um, after you hit get started and fill out that information, um, you don't, your decision on extra security. Um, we see that the page has been added, people have been added, I'm one of those people. Um, we need them to create an ad account or you need to create an ad account. Um, and once there's an ad account, I need the number of the ad account so I can request access to it if it's not given. Under business settings up here in the top left um, is where you go to give someone access to something. So you can see I'm here. I've been assigned the pages, products, and apps. Um, what we're missing, the two items, is obviously an ad account that needs to be created or shared. And the data source, we need the pixel. So the pixel allows you to track conversions and create um, in the back end of a website that you'll get a number that you can input. Um, there's an app or um, some places have a direct connection for that. And then you have to go through the process of telling Facebook with that pixel what events are going to apply. So there will be like if someone initiates checkout, you have to give the URL of where that is in the process so it's not shop now right this is our shopping page you have to tell Facebook this is our shopping page pre-order now here's the cart so I have to give it this URL tell it yeah someone has initiated or this is the cart and then this is where they've initiated checkout right they're going in and they're either creating new details or they're a returning customer or they're whether they're checking out as a guest, all of that stuff. And then once it gets through and you actually place your test order, that's when at the end of that test order, there'll be a thank you page. And you have to tell Facebook specifically that that is your thank you page and that someone has completed a purchase. So um, those are all the events that you have to, the minimal amount of events. Those are the three that you definitely want them tracking. Um, check in, see here's, I've been given permission to the um, Instagram account, which means that once there is an ad account, I can go and run ads on Facebook or Instagram through this, um, that I have all those permissions. So I'm just missing the ad account and the pixels. Um, the catalog itself, once you've been given access to a catalog, um, you're able to go into the catalog and in Catalog Manager, you can go through and actually create um, your products. So that's where you can either upload them or add them manually. You'll see that there are 28 products here. So all the products have been added that I'm aware of. And so we can run ads straight from this, but we need the event data source to tell it when we've received an order. And so I'll, I would then set up ads in the ad manager that tell people, here's my catalog, here's my ads running to drive traffic, here's my ads running to do this and to do that, etc. So, yep, that is everything about setting up Facebook uh, and giving someone user permissions. So thank you so much.